Wah! In my last tutorial, we made juggling clubs. But guess what? As cool as these are, not many people know how to juggle clubs. So today, we're making these. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Peter. I'm the Emotional Sport Clown. Well, actually, before we even start, I just wanted to show everybody this. Besides being a creator here on YouTube, I also do my own workshops and performances. And over the weekend, I did a birthday party for a 10 year old and got this card in the mail. Dear Peter, thank you for helping me host my birthday party. I loved when you ate the flames. You are so good at juggling stuff from Lolo. Lolo, I just wanted to thank you for the card because it's a reminder of why I am a performer. Okay, let's go make some juggling balls. A couple of my favorite things about juggling is that it's challenging at any level, anyone can learn, and it's affordable. In fact, the balls we're making today cost me under $20. Today we're going to be making two styles of balls. We're going to be making our bean bags as well as our Russians. So without further ado, let's get building these. For this first build, you're going to need rice. You can also use millets or lentils, one plastic bottle, a funnel or piece of paper, a pair of scissors, and six to nine balloons. Insert the funnel or rolled up piece of paper into your empty plastic bottle. Scoop up three fourths of a cup of rice and pour it into the bottle. So for me, I'm going to do three scoops. Once you have the rice in the bottle, it's time to prepare your balloons. Cut off the ends of three balloons and put them to the side. If you want your juggling balls to have a little bit of extra durability, you could also do this with three additional balloons. Now that those are done, blow up a balloon and then twist it at the neck. This is going to allow you to handle the balloon without it losing its air. Place the mouth of the balloon over the bottle. Now, when you untwist the balloon, it shouldn't deflate. Flip the balloon and the bottle upside down and slowly start to pour the rice into the balloon. If you need to, shake the bottle a bit because that will make the process go a little faster. Once all the rice is out of the bottle, detach the balloon and have it deflate. Squeeze all the extra air out of the balloon and then cut the mouthpiece off. Now you can take one of the pre-cut balloons, stretch over it, making sure you cover the whole of rice. Repeat this with an additional balloon if you want that extra durability. If you don't like the way balloons feel, find a thin, preferably unused sock to put over the juggling ball. The way you do this is place your hand inside the sock and grab the ball. Pull the sock inside out while holding onto the ball. Twist the ball from the outside and then pull it through the sock. Repeat until you run out of sock. Now you have a juggling ball that feels like a sock instead of a balloon. For our next build, you're going to need more rice, three tennis balls, a funnel or piece of paper, a box cutter, electrical tape, which I forgot to take video of, and a scale. Cut a slit into the tennis ball. The slit should be about two inches long or the length of the logo on the ball. Hey, I'm a tennis ball, and now that I've been birthed into existence, I'm going to, oh, oh God. Oh, oh, oh. I filled my tennis balls until they were 100 grams each. If you want them to weigh exactly 100, fill them up to around 94 grams. Use your electrical tape to cover the slit and start wrapping. Once you've reached the beginning of your tape, start a slight figure eight pattern and switch directions with each rotation on the ball. And with that, your Russian style juggling ball is complete. All you have to do is make two more. When you're done with all three balls, use your scale to make sure they're around the same weight. If you do end up making your own set of juggling balls, let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, watch this next video, which is going to teach you how to use them and why it's good for your brain. <gasps> Mic drop. 